Hi there. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking really scruffy at the moment, but I've been doing all sorts of work. Uh, I've changed the oil on my car, but also, more importantly, out here in the shed, been doing some of the repairs that I've needed doing. Um, and I'm surprised, really, actually. A lot of the damage, um, I've been able to do some running repairs. The insurance hasn't paid out yet, so when it does, I'll be able to replace some of the items um, that really are probably a bit beyond redemption. But I've been concentrating today on uh, things like the signals. Uh, previous days I've done things like the chimney pots and some of the buildings, they're all glued back now. And also managed to put together the Walther's crane kit that's over in the corner. Um, and uh, it's rather like trying to put together a jigsaw puzzle that doesn't really want to fit back together with no instructions. Um, it's really just trying to work out which bit went where and gluing it. It's not perfect, but uh, until the insurance pays out and I can afford to buy replacements, then you know it's just really meant to make do with what you've got. So today, let's have a look at some of the, the things that I've repaired. Because I know on the video of the destruction, um, there were a few things that really did look quite nasty. So first things first, uh, let's move over to this bridge. This is the Orlando Street Bridge. And uh, we can see here, I've been able to uh, rebuild and repair the um, the actual bridge deck um, that was ripped off and stamped on, uh, built new side pieces, glued them on. As you can see some of the telegraph poles are a little bit angled um, but then again real ones often are so um, I'm going to have to live with those until the insurance payment comes through and then I may remove the bent telegraph poles and put in some new ones. I've also on the video it was quite apparent this this gantry here was smashed up. Um, it's taken a lot of gluing back together. It's not perfect, it leans in odd angles um, but until the insurance pays out it's gonna gonna have to make do. Um, I'll also need to get some ballast and re-ballast over there uh, where it was prized out. Uh, we've repaired the signal over here in the corner, just glued it back on. A little bit of weathering with the dirty paint will allow the tear marks in the brick paper to kind of blend in. Um, and hopefully that one will be alright. If we move over into the corner over here, uh, we can see the Walther's crane kit is put back together. Um, it does lean at some st quite strange angles which aren't necessarily apparent on the video. And we've also glued back together and refastened down the ground signal cabin. Um, again, some of the, the chimneys and stuff have all been repaired. And then uh, here we can see just balanced on a glue pot whilst the glue sets. One of the big gantry signals. Uh, I was lucky with that, that where it had snapped off, it had snapped off clean and not shattered. So I've been able to resurrect that. Um, and again, some dabs of paint will cover up where the, the strange glue joints are and uh, hopefully that will be, um, be pretty reasonable. The light's not great in this corner. We've had a good hoover around. There's been a lot of debris uh, landed on the track. Bits of um, just dirt, bits of the insulation that came out the door and I've gone over with a really good hoover. It has taken some of the grass off and again that's something that we'll all need redoing when the insurance pays out because um, we're kind of down to the base layer, all of the fluffy glass, grass has disappeared up the hoover. It's got quite a powerful suck to it. Um, we've also glued back on buffer stops that were damaged. Um, that building in the corner has been straightened up um, and repaired, so we're looking hopeful for that. There's still a telegraph pole that needs a repair, I can see over there. Um, moving further back, um, from my spares box, another one of these ratio bogey hoppers has turned up, um, which will replace one of the ones that was stolen. Um, this particular one is, is done in a fictitious livery of a barrier wagon, so uh, it'll do just as, as filler for the end of the siding. And we've got a new buffer stop in there as well that's replaced the one that was ripped off and stamped on the floor. Um, so, you know, that's now looking something like... Uh, there was, um, quite apparent on a lot of the videos, some other kits on there, a uh, Parkside Dundas coal wagon 
and uh, an FX Class 4 shunter in, again, fictitious tops, blue livery, but uh, painted up to look like a scrap derelict. Also been working on the Bolton East signal box area. Um, as you remember from the video, all the signals were smashed. This one has taken a lot of gluing together, but I've been able to put it back together. Um, the glue's set now. Um, we've still got telegraph poles to sort out. Had a good hoover around again. Lots of uh, insulation from where the door was smashed in was over everything. A lot of the fluffy layer from the grass has disappeared up the hoover. We've still got some damage to this signal to repair. And this one here, which was a working signal, has been smashed. And unfortunately, because it was a working signal, it's a little bit more delicate than the others, and it's not simply a case of gluing it back together with plenty of Bostic. Uh, and that is one that will be waiting for a full replacement uh, with the insurance. Uh, signal box, we haven't done anything on that yet, so you can see where the little scumbag has grabbed hold of it and tried to rip it off, and the finger's gone through there. Um, it's also bent the roof down the side. What we're going to have to do with this is with a very sharp craft knife, carefully take the roof off, try and straighten that out, but it will also give us access to the inside so we can try and repair the bend and also stick the windows back in. It's a common thing that happens to a lot of these buildings anyway, so um, it's probably quite helpful. I'll, do, I'll try and do a video on repairing that later on because it might be helpful to people who are in a similar predicament where the windows have fallen in from buildings and they want to repair those. Excuse the noise, we've got people in putting in a, a decent alarm system. It's slowly creeping its way towards the shed so this area will be fully alarmed as part of the house alarm system which is, you know, safety first. Uh, moving further on, we've repaired the footbridge. That's gone back together. There's a lot of glue gone into that. Um, again, a bit of a, a Franken creation. Um, hopefully some paint will cover up where the bits have been smashed and then glued back together. The gantry we've glued back on and the heads that were knocked off have gone back on. Unfortunately, um, the heads that were smashed off were ones which were set up to work and they don't work now. Um, you know, it swings and roundabouts. It means the signals are now permanently set the way you see it. Um, I've also been working over here in the corner um, trying to repair another signal that was smashed. Unfortunately with this one, with the, the lattice work, the lattice work's actually been smashed into little bits. So glued a few bits and pieces on there but it's looking like this is another one that's going to have to go for a full replacement simply because there's a, a half inch piece that's just tiny little fragments and it's proving impossible to glue back together. Um, again, hoovered out uh, a lot of muck from here. We can see these buildings, again, straightened up, all of the chimney pots glued back on. A bit of weathering with paint will hopefully fix those. Um, moving back round now to the main station building. We've got the, the clock tower has gone back on. It's not perfect. Again, weathering with a little bit of dirty paint will hide the tear marks there where it was ripped off the roof. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll be able to sort that out. Salvaged this building, glued it back together. It's a little bent. I've had to weight it down to try and get it to regain some of its former shape so it wasn't completely twisted. Um, and we've also done a lot of work on repairing these steps um, were smashed up pretty bad um, they've gone back together they'll need another coat of paint and then uh, the station canopies these are part way through repair I've got the the legs glued back on the glues setting nicely and then I've got some of the uh, the glazing bars were smashed off you can actually see where the scumbag has actually grabbed hold of it and their fingers have gone through um, they all need repairing. Unfortunately a lot of the little um, fancy um, bits on the top, I can't remember for the life of me what they're actually called, and the name will come to me afterwards they've all been smashed off, haven't been able to find any other than one um, so I'm going to have to paint over the angry looking snapped plastic and hope it isn't too obvious Another signal waiting for repair. We've repaired this signal gantry here as well and this back canopy. Um, again, a lot of glue. I'm going through so much Bostic, it's unbelievable. Um, 
hoovered all the tracks, again it was covered in detritus, the grass needs doing, some of the ground signals have found them scattered over the wide area, they've been glued back in, and that's really progress up to now. A lot of the really ugly stuff that was kind of looked really nasty on that video that I did just after the the break-in and vandalism. A lot of that has now been kind of put right to a stage where it looks presentable. Unfortunately there's a lot of things that because of the damage, because of the, the bends to it, the, the rips and that, I'm going to uh, be doing a full replacement when the insurance comes through but for now because it could take a month or more for the cheque to come through. I'm kind of eager to get it so it, it at least looks presentable in here um, to stop it from reminding me of what happened. Um, yeah, we, we're getting there. We could run trains now quite nicely. Although obviously all of the rolling stock will be living in the house for certainly the foreseeable future. I'm not leaving anything of value out here. Um, we have reinforced the shed. It's had a new door, a much more substantial door and I've also been bolting a new framework on the outside of the shed to stop the outside planking being able to be ripped off and there is a steel cage that has been inserted into the shed out of quite a hefty square section tube that's all been welded and bolted together and then bolted to the fabric of the shed and to the floor of the shed which should stop uh, people being able to smash their way through the walls. So that's where we are. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and keep you updated as things go on. I've been overwhelmed with the support that I've had from the Model Railway community. Um, so a big, big thank you to people who've sent messages of support and also those people who've sent me things and made promises of sending things to help me get Bolton Trinity Road back on its, its feet. Being able to replace a couple of the locomotives that weren't returned um, through the police um, with uh, like for like replacements from the generosity of a number of people so big big thank you to you um, and uh, yeah, we should be back on our, our feet very very soon don't forget to share this video spread the good news that Bolton Trinity Road is getting back on its feet subscribe to the channel to uh, keep up to date with updates and uh, also like it because that like button does like being tickled believe me it does whisper to me in the night it says Jenny get people to tickle me because that's my sole reason in life and you know it brings a smile to my face and other such rubbish is there. Now you take very good care of yourself and uh, we'll hopefully be seeing you next time when we get a few more repairs underway. Bye for now.